Hello my Funatics and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be playing some showdown and I've decided that I want to use the edgelord himself, Lycanroc midday, midnight form rather. Um, he's going to be like a lead set with rocks and stone edge and reversal, just taunt to stop other people setting up rocks. I don't know how it's going to work. I haven't played much Pokebank OU, which is what we'll be playing today. I've been playing the normal OU, but I'm doing this because a friend of mine, uh, Makadi, another YouTuber who I will link in the description, has come up with Bibarel being a very powerful threat at the moment because it has plenty of things that it can set up on, mainly Aegislash, which it takes on very well as long as they don't have Sacred Sword, which a lot don't, and some do, but a lot don't. Uh, but this set, because it gets Sword Stance now in Pokemon Sun and Moon, uh, and it gets the ability Simple, one Sword Stance gives it plus four attack, so it hits super hard, and it has access to Aqua Jet, so it's able to out-prioritize a ton of things. It's also not that slow anyway. I always had this preconception that it was really slow, but that's because the set that it used to run is a curse set, so you'd be halving your speed as soon as you went for a curse. Uh, but actually it's got base 71 which isn't too bad so you will be able to outspeed a lot of those walls and hit them with plus four returns and waterfalls go on for the life orb because it does need that little bit of ex um, extra boost but i will link mccardy's video in the description because he came up with this idea and i think that it's really cool to try out so we're going to see how it works uh, we've got marowak who i seem to be unable to build around uh, build without rather at the moment because it deals with the uh, fast electric types so well uh, so it's specially defensive. I normally run leftovers, but this team is more of an offense team So I'm going thick club this time to see how it works out with just powerful coverage It doesn't have to be my stealth work because I've got edgelord. So that's cool. And then uh, We've got smelly cat now. This is my Alolan Persian set that I absolutely love uh, so uh, uh, I will go into more detail soon because I will be doing a why you should use Alolan Persian very soon just briefly fur coat using foul play so I don't need to invest in its d defenses so I can invest in max HP um, and I've gone for max max speed because parting shot is really important here. I have used Zed move parting shot before if you haven't seen that with Sil Valley which is really cool. It drops your opponent's attack and special attack and switches you out. However, with the Z move, it also heals whatever comes in. So, for example, Bibarel can try and sweep, and if it gets low on health, I can switch out and then try and sweep again later in the battle if I can pass a parting shot to it with the Z move. Uh, or equally, uh, I don't know, if one of my walls gets low, this could be a way of healing them up pretty easily. And then just Taunt and Toxic there to maybe help out with dealing with some walls. Uh, I wanted a fast thing on my team, a fast offensive thing, so I've gone with uh, Tapu Koko, which is kind of boring, but I'm going with it, and I've got Hidden Power Water there just to hit some uh, Marowaks. I could put Life Orb, but it gets whittled down with Hazards, and I don't really have removal on this team, which isn't ideal, but um, it just means that I maybe won't have to switch out as often because I will be able to Hidden Power Water the Marowaks and see if that does any work. Also, Hidden Power Water can catch some ground types, although most ground types I am able to hit with some coverage, but I guess it hits Excadrill as well. And then the final thing is just uh, Mega Venusaur because it's very good at the moment and I, I couldn't think of a better thing. It's also helping me to switch on some water type attacks, which I wouldn't necessarily be able to do before. So that is the team at the moment and I will jump into some battles right now. Okay, so here we've got one. I see like Tapu Bulu and Grassy Terrain, which sounds uh, with eggs. That, that sounds crazy. And also this thing, which I haven't seen at all. I know that Necrozma is very bulky um, I should hopefully be able to take it on with these two. I don't think it actually gets fighting or bug coverage, so this might be able to take hits, although it's very frail on the special side, but I am going to lead with Edgelord. As Necroz Necrozma leads, 282, I, should, I can outspeed that and stop it. I know this thing gets rocks, so I can stop it getting up to Stealth Rock. So I'll taunt that, and it goes for the Trick Room. I did not see that coming. I'm definitely gonna get up my rocks here. That's very good that we prevented the trick room, and I do have, uh, I do have, like, get some damage on this as well. That's nothing. It's defensive as anything. Um, I'm going to taunt it and toxic it, hopefully. Let's go into this and taunt. And I just don't want trick room going up. Please don't have anything to hit a smelly cat. Okay, going into Tapu Bulu. I know that this doesn't get fairy coverage. I think though that I'm pretty safe going for a parting shot here and then going into 
I mean, Venusaur is very scary for it, so. I get the recovery here. And I can go for, I could go for a sludge bomb. What's slightly switching on a sludge bomb? I don't see a good switching on a sludge bomb, to be honest. Yeah, Necrozma, he might be able to get his trick room up. No, he won't be able to get his trick room up because if he tries, I'll outspeed. Um, so I guess, but ah, he's bulky. He's not speed invested. I take him out. Yes, good. That's a good way of dealing with the Necrozma. So no Trick Room on that. I guess the Eggs has Trick Room too, but it can't set it up right now because Venusaur will be able to take it out. Marowak comes in. Um, I do have Smelly Cat, which might be my best play. And then I can go into Bibarel. Does Bibarel win? Bibarel could just win. Bibarel could just win. I think Smelly Cat and then Parting Shot into Bibarel. That's what I like about this, is, is a really good pivot switch. Uh, foul play is really tempting here though too, but I think I am going to parting shot because if he goes into this, I still get to go into Bibarel and uh, set up, which is really fantastic. So I can parting shot here, I'm going to go into Bibarel and just go for an SD. Does this get Trick Room? If this gets Trick Room, I will be sad. Very sad. Uh. We'll, we'll see, I guess. He'll probably think that this is an opportunity to set up Trick Room if he has it. He goes for the Taunt, that's too slow. Your Taunt is way too slow. I can go for a return here, should be able to take this Tapu Fini out. But yep, there we go, that was pretty nice. That was pretty nice and I don't think that anything else on his team will outspeed now, so I probably just sweep from here. Tapu Bulu, please do not outspeed me. Please do not outspeed me. You're on a Trick Room team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You didn't outspeed me. That's great. And there is the forfeit. I mean, that was only going to go one way. So that's fine. Let's get another. Okay, so we're up against what looks to be a rain team, uh, which is fine. It might mean that Bibarel uh, could do some work, but not too much. Like the Swift Swimmers, it will struggle against. But Aqua Jet will be very powerful against some things on his team. So I kind of just want to lead like Rock here uh, to get up rocks. I think that it's fine as he leads Pelipper. Uh, Pelipper will probably be able to take me out uh, if it's Scarf. I'm just going to go straight for rocks though as he stays in and goes for the Hydro. Takes me down to my Sash, that's fine. And I'm just going to fire off a Stone Edge which can't miss because of No Guard which does a lot of damage. And the Pelipper just dies to the rocks now. So that's very, very good. Uh, if this Pelipper had Defog, it's not going to be able to do that because it's just switched itself out with U-Turn. So that, that worked out quite well. Um, and Edgelord kind of did his job. So that's nice. Uh, so he's gone into the Kingdra. I know that Venusaur will be able to live a hit. And I'm just going to go for a Sludge Bomb, I guess. Uh, I could Giga Drain here. But I think Sludge Bomb, because if I can get the poison, that would be very, very helpful. Uh, he misses the Hydro, which is fantastic. And now I can just go for a Giga Drain because that will be able to take it out. And I will get some recovery as well. And this Hydro will definitely hurt. I don't know if it would have been a two hit KO. I'm doubtful because this is, he misses two. That's pretty fortunate. Uh, you should run Surf, I guess. Uh, but Hydro definitely helps taking down some specially defensive walls. But he just lets his Pelipper go down straight away and doesn't even try to use it as death fodder. Uh, so what's he got to take this out, I guess? Well, the rain's still up. Like, Alolan Raichu, I would have thought would be a switching because it's psychic type now, right? Uh, but he goes into the Marowak. He could go into Smelly Cat right here because Foul Play will be able to deal with it pretty nicely. Nice. Uh, I don't really know what else he'd go for. I think I'll go into Smelly Cat. He goes Boomerang, which I can take, and I could foul play here. I think throwing off a foul play is the best play. Uh, can he take me out? No, because the rain's up. <laughs> foul play just takes it out. I really do like this Smelly Cat set. Alolan Persian I'm really, really enjoying, which is not something that I thought I would. I've got two very good switches on this because I've got the... I think I'll make the offensive switch go into my Marowak and eat the Thunder, and then I'm able to go for... 
best play here is maybe I think Shadow Bone because it hits everything and I could maybe drop a defense so he just stays in. He doesn't really have a switch in here. I do. Does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't die. God. So close. Uh, so again, Shadow Bone I think is my best play. This would die to rocks. And oh yeah, he's, he's just going to kill himself to life of. Ooh. So I have to fear the Gyarados now. Um, I probably do want to switch straight into my Venusaur. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I want to switch straight into my Venusaur. If it's Mega, then I can take it on better because Grass is super effective. And he goes for the Dragon Dance. Crunch shouldn't be able to take me out. Oopsie. Um, he's got EQ anyway, so Crunch would have done a ton of damage though. And now, again, I'll just go for a Giga Drain. So, wow! Two crunches would have taken me out, even with the Giga Drain recovery, so that would have been the play. I don't know, I think Bibarel would have... Well, would Bibarel have been able to live a hit? Probably not. Probably not. I'm just going to close Discord right now because people are doing messages and stuff, and that is not cool. Uh, so I guess I'll let him take me out because I kind of want to see how much Smelly Cat will do. And it won't be able to live a special hit, which is a shame, but I want to see how much it can do. And Tapu Koko will be able to revenge. So let's see how much this foul play will do. Oh, <laughs> Smelly Cat! Yes! Ah, oh, I love a lot of version of that one. I really didn't think I would. Let's get another battle. Oh, okay. But Alolan Persian showed everyone else on my team up right there. I like Edgelord though as a lead. It's a good lead. Not many people have stuff for it. I think I'm going to go for it and yeah, I'm actually just going to click Stone Edge here. Yeah. And then again, do I click Stone Edge again or do I get Rocks? Rocks are pretty nice against his team. Uh... But do I outspeed most? I outspeed most of his team. What before? Uh, I guess that I don't. What would be more valuable? Well, what can I revenge this with if the web is up? Bibarel, and that's about it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna that again. What? That didn't even take me down. Why did that not? I'm not not invested in HP, am I? No. 85, 75, I guess, is not awful defenses, to be fair. But <laughs> that just means that my revenge won't be doing as much, which is a shame. So he's got a type null. I guess that's an Violite type null. Type null has insane defenses for a Pokemon that's able to use a Violite because it's got 95, 95, 95, and then that's boosted by 1.5. Okay, so we can see what he wants to do here. Um, I can't turn that off. That's really annoying. Um, so he does outspeed, which means that he's Life Orb. Cool. Uh, but I've got two very good switch-ins. Two very, very good switch-ins. So I think my play here is to go into the Marowak, and uh, though I do get the speed drop, I can hopefully just go straight for a... Well, Shadow, Shadow Bone will probably take this out, but then he's got all the normal types, so knockoff is maybe the play here. I don't think he'll be able to hit me with this. If he goes into Type Null, I can knock off the Aviolite, which would be great. It would be really, really good. And we can see how that goes. I don't really know what he would switch, what else he would switch in on this. Yeah, okay, so he was just testing the water. We can get rid of the Life Orb. Would another knockoff take it out? 53. Uh, that divided by three is going to be um, oh, it's going to be close. It would need to be 19, 19, and it's not, so I'm going to go for a Shadow Bone. No, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, okay, he just does that anyway. So, we can just take it out. That was a bulky Zerka tree. I, I, I've known few people to uh, invest in HP rather than special attack because it's uh, got a very high special attack stat anyway so you don't really need to be concerned about that now what is this going to do is it going to set up 
a sword dance on me. Um, do I need this for other things? Not really. I'm going to knock off here because I do want to get rid of that. Uh, if I like, it'll be really helpful to do that. But that's kind of bad actually because uh, this is potentially a huge threat. So we get rid of the Aviolite, which is very good. I'm going to go into Venusaur doesn't look uh, as useful. Maybe it is. It's going for Shadow Claw though. I could probably go into Persian here. Persian's quite nice for the Marowak. Mar yeah, I think Venusaur is something that I can throw in a bit easier. It will take maybe a bit of damage from this. Not too much. And now uh, I'll Mega Evolve and go for a Giga Drain just because I do want a little bit of, yeah, a little bit of health back. Although maybe, maybe Sludge Bomb is better because it would at least get more damage on the Bravery, which would be useful. Which would be very useful. Hmm, what kind of a Bravery is it? That is the question, no, he's just staying in. So he's Swords Dancing here. I think I'll 2 hit KO this. No, I won't. That's very bulky. Oh, maybe I will with Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb should be able to take this out. Return. Does a lot of damage. Wow. But I am able to take it out, which is very good. So now my Venusaur is not looking too healthy. I think if he brings in a uh, Marowak, uh, I'll try and synthesis on this. Will he just take me out anyway, though? So he's got the flame charge there. Am I concerned about this? Not too concerned about this because I've got the bib. Um, <laughs> minus two speed because, of course, <laughs> I've got the thing. I'm going to Source Dance here because hopefully I'll be able to survive whatever he wants to go for, which I can just about. But it's a shame because that means that I only get two Aqua Jets off. Um, so I maybe should have gone into... I maybe should have gone into my Persian here. He obviously didn't know about the, yeah, the plus four, plus four sword dance. Yeah, a lot of people don't know about that. So I can just take out the Marowak and then hopefully take out something else too. But <laughs> I'm blowing his mind right now. Uh, I really want to go for Aqua Jet. Oh, it just takes it out. That's so good because Porygon Z now has a Z move. Uh, that boosts all stats, and there is the forfeit. <laughs> so Bivaral did manage to do something there. It was fine. I think that I had that one because then Persian could probably take on the Bravery. Uh, it would be doing quite a lot of damage with the foul play, I would imagine. And I have Toxic, um, so it should be able to. And I had, I still had Tapu Koko, which I wouldn't be able to. Um, okay. I think I'm going to leave it there because I don't have that much time today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. Bibaral is Bibaral is really, really cool and gets that Swords Dance that boosts your attack by four, which is mental. And uh, yeah, Alolan Persian is very fun to use as well. So I really advocate people to try that out. But I will talk about that more tomorrow when I've got a why you should use coming out. It's a very cool Pokemon with some really cool utility now. So definitely check that out. But all that's left to be said is I've been through for you, you've been awesome. And hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.